In this video, we are going to look at a classic place value misconception, reading and writing decimal numbers. Write the following numbers on the whiteboard and ask children to think about which is the largest number, 3.27, 3.8. Explain to children that you were listening to a group of students in another class. One of them said, 27 is much bigger than 8. Tell them that they all agreed that 3.27 was bigger than 3.8. Explain that another group disagreed. Ask them what they think they might have said. Tell children that a common misunderstanding is to think that a number is larger if it has more decimal digits, but this isn't always the case. Explain that in the first example, the students looked at the numbers after the decimal point, 27 and 8, as if they were whole numbers instead of decimal numbers. Explain how to read the numbers and how not to read them. Tell children that when they see a number such as 3.27, it's best not to say 3.27, as this is just spelling the number out. Explain that decimal numbers have first and last names. The first name is the whole number. The second name is the decimal number. To work out the full name, you look at the last digit and see which column it is positioned in. For example, the 7 is in the hundredth place, so we say 3 and 27 hundredths. Notice that instead of saying point, we have said and. If there is no whole number, then just say the decimal. For example, 0.84 is said as 84 hundredths. 0.038 would be said as 38 thousandths. Going back to our first example, now say together the numbers 3.27 and 3.8. 3 and 27 hundredths, 3 and 8 tenths. Although hundredths sounds bigger than tenths, Remind children that for each place to the right of the decimal point, the numbers are successively smaller by powers of 10. Each place after the tenth decreases by an order of 10. Hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, and so on. Remember that place value charts can be used to help support children's understanding of place value and the use of colour helps students recognise the link between tenths and tenths, etc. Have a go at reading and writing some decimal numbers as a class, and remember not to read them as whole numbers.